let some more people join along the way um, as uh, there were uh, quite a few more people booked in um, but uh, with the release of the material yesterday they uh, may have uh, got what they needed um, so um, just a few uh, things first of all um, just to let you know that obviously this is over the internet so um, if there are any problems with um, sound or connection in any way first thing to do is uh, try logging out of the session and then back in um, and then that will probably fix most problems um, the session is being recorded um, so if you do uh, want to watch back the recording um, then i'll put a link on the pearson music community page um, in the next couple of days um, along with the slides from the session as well um, there is a, a link um, in the slide uh, deck um, to the Pearson Music Community page as well at the end here. Um, so uh, really, um, I'll get going and uh, go through the slides and, and share the information with you as well. So a quick overview of the agenda um, is to have a look at the current situation where we are um, for this academic year and, and what's happened um, and why, how we've got to this point. Um, quick mention about the autumn series um, that's coming up as well. Then we'll look at um, the different components. Uh, mainly the information uh, is around NEA um, components today um, and then I'll briefly mention about components three and four the two uh, exam components there as well and then there's some time for questions um, if you uh, need to ask any questions at the end um, hopefully we should be able to get through this in um, you know fairly quickly as well and uh, you'll have some time uh, at the end there to ask questions So an overview of the current situation. Uh, obviously, pandemic has been going on for some time um, and it has been a changing situation. Um, there was a consultation around NEA and fieldwork. Um, the outcomes of that um, were published on the 16th of June. Um, and what that did was confirm that the arrangements that were in place for summer 2021 submissions would carry forward to 2022 uh, submissions as well. So in terms of all the requirements around timings um, and particularly for component one, uh, the removal of capture, that stayed in, in place um, for this assessments in this academic year as well. There was a second consultation as well that came out uh, which was the on the arrangements for summer 2022 assessments and that focused more on the exam components that closed on the 1st of August um, and at this point we're still waiting for the outcomes of that consultation to be published um, so there may be some more information coming out um, over the next few weeks um, when we do get those outcomes for that from that consultation as well and i'll go into a little bit more detail on that um, later on so there is the autumn series uh, coming up uh, the entry for that is restricted to students who have received a teacher assessed grade in summer 2021 and to students who are able to demonstrate that they would have had an entry uh, for the summer 2021 exams had they not been cancelled. Um, similar to the autumn series uh, last year in 2020, um, there's no NEA involved with that and the grade uh, will be based on the exam components only, so component three and four. Um, the entry deadline was uh, the other week actually, um, on the 8th of September um, and any entries made after that date there would be late fees that would apply to that entry and then just quickly the exam dates for those um, is uh, Wednesday the 6th of October um, for component 3 and then Tuesday the 12th of October for component 4 
So moving on to uh, component one to have a look through uh, the changes here and, and what's been carried forward. Um, so the brief uh, for component one was released on the 15th September yesterday. So hopefully um, you've had a chance to access that um, and, and look at the material there. Um, so it involved, um, there are multiple uh, audio files and then there is a um, original version of the piece um, with uh, the, the mix there that uh, should be emulated by students. Uh, so capture um, has been removed as a, as a requirement of the component. Um, so that means um, we were left in a position similar to last year where um, centres um, were essentially in a position where individual candidates wouldn't be able to um, record uh, the tracks for their um, submissions for this. Um, so the way forward that will happen with this is, as I said, uh, Pearson uh, will provide the audio files for the students to create a mix from. So that's uh, what was um, released yesterday. Um, and students should emulate the original recording as provided by Pearson. Um, so in the big zip folder with all the audio files, there is the original recording uh, provided as well. So that the uh, length of the recording was also changed. Um, so the recording length is going to be determined by the audio files provided by Pearson. Um, and I can't remember and haven't looked in detail at the, the length of uh, the tracks um, that were released yesterday, but AS level will be between one minute, 30 seconds and two minutes, and A level will be between two minutes and three minutes. But the audio tracks that are provided to determine that and the arrangement of that piece uh, in terms of structure um, should not change. So it should be that structure. Um, so assessment grid one, uh, as I said, capture is not used in the assessment of uh, this component. Um, so that means that the component, the recording, will be marked out of 48 um, rather than uh, 60 as it normally is uh, in a normal assessment year. Um, the component will continue to be externally assessed by an examiner. So um, we are keeping that aspect because um, there are a team of examiners that are standardised and familiar with the, the processes there um, and uh, it's the, deemed to be the fairest way forward for all candidates um, in that sense as well. Um, so in terms of it being out of 48, um, the does mean that uh, the marks uh, for this component will be there will be a scaling factor applied um, after um, the marks have been given um, to ensure that the weighting of the specification remains the same um, and each component counts towards the correct percentage of um, the qualification as well. Um, submission uh, is by the 15th of May 2022 um, and it looks like uh, for 2022 submissions, we will be moving to the uh, online digital learner work transfer platform. Um, so it will be online submissions in that way, um, and you will be uploading all the work um, via that platform um, rather than the uh, postal uh, submissions that were uh, in place previously. Um, so if uh, some of you may be familiar uh, with that process, it will work in a similar way to um, the evidence uh, that was required for this summer, uh, for the tag grades this summer. Um, the platform will be quite similar to that where you can upload um, the evidence and uh, work for individual um, uh, students in that way. Um, so you may have had uh, the experience of uh, uploading the material there. Moving on to component two, uh, the brief for that was released on the 1st of September. 
um, it uh, will look and feel like uh, the normal briefs uh, in most ways. Um, so for uh, AS level, um, there are the samples uh, provided and uh, that's when students will create their composition using those samples. Um, and for A level, there are the three briefs. There's the video brief um, and then there's the uh, stimulus, um, other uh, stimulus material for the other briefs there as well. So live capture is permitted um, for the technology based compositions, but students won't be disadvantaged if they don't use any live capture in their compositions. So it is possible to provide a composition that doesn't use live capture and they wouldn't be disadvantaged there. Um, there's been no changes to the mark scheme um, with that um, and uh, the duration of the compositions um, must be for AS level one minute 30 seconds and for A level two minutes. Um, so those are timings that the compositions must be those uh, precise lengths there. The component uh, will continue to be externally assessed again by an examiner. Um, and because the mark scheme hasn't changed, this will continue to be marked out of 60 as well. Um, and again, it's likely to be the online submission uh, process for this. Um, and uh, that will be by the 15th of May. So the work needs to reach the examiner by the 15th of May. Then looking at the two exam components, um, exams are intended to go ahead in summer 2022. Um, as previously mentioned, there is the, the there was the consultation on the arrangements for assessment in summer 2022, and that closed on the 1st of August. Um, we are still waiting for the outcome of that, um, but there were proposals in there which uh, suggested there might be things such as advanced information around uh, topics that might appear on exam papers. Um, so in terms, we need to wait for the outcomes of uh, the consultation to know exactly what the position is on that and how that might look, and also then how that might impact on these two components uh, for AS and A-level music and what adaptations or advanced information might be allowed with that paper, with those papers. Um, there's some useful information and links here um, on uh, that can be found on the website. Um, so for AS and A-level music technology, um, there is uh, assessment guidance documents um, and they are uh, useful and give further information and, and uh, guidance around uh, the NEA components. There's some FAQs as well um, for the assessments and mainly uh, looking at NEA components at this point um, for assessments in summer 2022. Um, I believe, sorry, but this is an old uh, slide deck uh, that haven't had these links changed from the music ones. Um, when I post the slides um, on uh, the Pearson Music Community page, I'll make sure that it's the updated version um, that uh, will be used there. Um, there is a summer 2022 support page, which is the general Pearson information for general qualifications around support for assessments in summer 2022. Um, I'd also suggest that you do sign up uh, to receive um, the general qualifications uh, bulletin. Um, that's a really useful thing. And again, uh, there was one sent yesterday. There's an archive online as well uh, for those, so you can read previous uh, versions, but they contain the most up-to-date information and the developments for assessments and uh, throughout this year as well. Um, so please do sign up to those. Um, link to the exam timetable for autumn 2021 and then a link to the more general uh, information around that autumn exam series as well. Um, so here 
um, is some time for questions. Um, so if you do have any questions around uh, the information provided or uh, the NEA components, um, you know, I'm happy to answer. Please do uh, type things into the chat um, and uh, I can answer things as best I can. Um, I'll give you a few minutes to see if uh, any questions do come in. Uh, so has there been any indication of the types of alterations that might be made to the exams at this time? Um, so at this point, um, we don't really know uh, too much information of, in terms of the proposals, um, it was mainly around advanced information of topics. Um, so the full content um, should be delivered as the exams are expected to run as normal um, in terms of the, the content that could appear on the papers, but there might be this possibility of some advanced information at some point in this academic year um, of when of topics that may appear on the papers. Uh, so it's until we get the outcomes of the consultation, um, it's a little difficult to say, you know, what might happen and how things will look. But there's those are the general ideas um, that uh, are around at the moment. So uh, with component one task, is there leeway to the students to mix to a contemporary standard and roughly match the mix like in normal years when they record their own versions of songs or do they need to match the original? So the task um, for this year as, as it was last year um, was to uh, provide a mix that matches the original recording. So they should be aiming for the production um of the given original version of the track so rather than a mix to contemporary standards it is trying to emulate um the production on the original version okay not a problem um Don't know if uh, those are the only questions coming in. Um, looks like it might be. Uh, if I Let's go here. Um, so as you can see, um, that. Um, there's uh, ways to contact us. Um, so there is the contact page on the website, uh, which is the first link. Um, if you uh, have any questions um, at all regarding delivery uh, of a specification, uh, please you know, email me at teachingmusic at pearson.com. It's the phone number. Um, there is the um, link there, uh, which goes to the um, Pearson Music Community page, um, and there's also Twitter there, um, so at Pearson Music One um, is that address there. Um, so, um, if you don't have any further questions, um, we've got a little bit of time back. Um, I hope you found it useful, um, and you can uh, progress forward this year. Um, and prepare your candidates uh, for 
assessments in summer 2022. Hope you found this useful and I wish you and your candidates all the best uh, for next summer.